suppose there's two answers I would give. The first approach is the more private approach I suppose approach there's two writing. answers I would give. The first approach is the more private approach to writing. Manipulating language in the way many people, do in, teams, in the way many people do in their teams. And there's a more public approach there. to it. And there's a more public approach to it. When you make the decision of trying to turn that into articulatable, to turn articulatable, work, into articulatable work, that would have been in my early twenties. Part of it was part actually, of it was actually in, in French because that is my first language. But then it moved over into English very quickly. Having moved over into English when the whole writing became writing became a project, project, to project to me. It then became then the idea, the idea of getting it out. For me, the idea of the move, into, the idea of the move into By the end of the 20th century, I suppose I mean the way many artists and art but practices do you signal a more interrelational, less romantic, modernistic attitude to the making of art and of the art verbal. I locate the time period ideologically. It became the fact that I'm not English, but I'm writing English. English. It became English. the fact that I'm not this English, throws up a number of questions. How do I read English culture? How do I situate I possibly, myself? Am I a I would say especially if you function in the arts at the end the of the 20th century, really all that becomes a part of I would say many people, for really different reasons, would feel what I feel, but perhaps not in the same way what as What it has done is create a critical and an artistic interest in across so much as a sense between of languages. And I find that the way languages and cultures and meet can or cannot meet. So I have to come more notions around I would say especially if you function in the arts at the end of the 20th century, I would say many people would and reason would feel what it feels, but perhaps not in the same way as I'm describing it. I don't know if it's a gap, so much as a sense of conflict. Right. I right. find that conflict productive and so indirectly as they were having to explain my own installation. The assumptions around yourself as well. Of course, the art form. An interest in misspelling. In idiosyncrasies of all kinds. Kinds of mistranslation. What it has done is create a critical and an artistic interest in the crossing point between languages. The way languages and cultures meet cannot be. So I have become more and more interested in writing a literary work which is written in more than one language. My own work, more and more the same so called intuition of language you can have. It's not necessarily to create mongrel or hybrid the mother tongue become the media show of the problematic Where do I place myself? But also I indirectly, I think, can explain my interest in speaking in tongues, in kinds of, kind of cross art forms, very knowledge of the culture of the language, and interest in misspelling, do I have it? And idiosyncrasies of all kinds. I've lived here for ten years in England. Where do I place and how much am I acquiring or not? That for me becomes very dynamic in the everyday use of the language. The first very approach is the, the more private approach, approach, to or writing, or approach to writing, manipulating language in the way many people do in their teens and just go from there. And there's a more public yeah, approach to it. Yes, when you make the decision trying to turn it into articulatable words, that would have been in my early 20s. Part of it was actually in French context, because that is my first we language. Have but then it moved over into English very quickly. Having moved over into English is when the whole thing became a public project. It then became the idea of getting it out. For me, the idea of moving into another language shows the idea of the logic of In that you become very aware that there's no way of universalizing it, and that the whole notion of the universal becomes even more compromised by the fact that I cannot rest on it. The whole idea of the hegemony of monolingualism disappears because it becomes a changed context. So that, of course, has consequences for my entire understanding of culture and the imperialism of cultural politics. What is man of you when you move from your first language into another language? What is the right of you, the person who manipulates the idea of the verbal material? Is that you become part of the activity or the commitment to the content? It became the fact that I am not English, but I am not a very good understanding of the no questions. How do I read it? How do I situate my end of this? Am I a foreigner? I would say many people I don't know if it's a gap so much as a sense of conflict. What it has done is create a critical and artistic interest in the crossing point between languages. The assumptions around the way languages and cultures are used to be cannot cannot be So I have become more and more interested in writing and in the words that you can't forget that you are using verbal material. My own work, you don't have the same so-called intuition of language you can have. I'm not necessarily to create language. 
down, you, in you fact. Can't forget that I've lived here for 10 years in England. But you how much am I acquiring? That, for me, becomes very dynamic yes, in the everyday use of the modern language. You can't forget that you are using verbal material. You don't have the same so-called intuition of language you can have if you first For example, the whole issue of the mother tongue becomes immediately very problematic. work is my first language, so where do I place myself? Where do I place the whole activity of Russian performance? Of speaking in diplomacy? Of connotation? Very knowledge of the culture of the language. Do I have it or not? Will I misunderstand you, in fact? I've lived here for ten years in England. But how much am I acquiring or not? Knowledge that, that, for me, becomes very and dynamic in the everyday use of the language, and even more, more so when I talk to the lyric towards the literary But well, I would dispute the term of ways of highlighting social I think it's a term that can, in fact, valid, invalidate a lot of contemporary writing practices. It has a very particular yes, take really that I'm coming to the idea of artistic necessities as something that needs to sit and the way that I am describing social structures. A lot of what's happened in visual art is in recent years. That is part of a wider social frame, Section. but it doesn't so to do that, I would use the example I'm interested of in art questioning the frame, like avant-garde might do, college. but also in my being there is to try to enable younger generations of writers. So actually the project of bilingualism think is something about that could try and draw voices think about through educational processes today. or whatever that might Why otherwise you want get to be an artist in the first place? I am quite keen also on this idea to try with one's own activity as a writer to look beyond the text itself, rather than the kind of alienation that I can do because I place myself as a practitioner. There's initiatives at the what moment in the EU, today? whether one believes them or not. Why are we doing this? That have to do with the trying to involve the arts and the public arts and the involvement of the public arts in relation to particularity. It's a question. Where do we speak? Where is its silence? And is there anything I can contribute in relation to myself? 